The Order of National Artists, orden ng mga pambansang alagad ng sining, is the highest national recognition given to Filipino individuals who have made significant contributions to the development of Philippine arts, namely music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, and architecture and allied arts. The order is jointly administered by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, NCCA, and the Cultural Center of the Philippines, CCP, and conferred by the President of the Philippines upon recommendation by both institutions. Philippine National Artist for Visual Arts, Fernando C. Amorsolo. The official title, Grand Old Man of Philippine Art, was bestowed on Amorsolo when the Manila Hilton inaugurated its art center on January 23, 1969, with an exhibit of a selection of his works. Returning from his studies abroad in the 1920s, Amorsolo developed the backlighting technique that became his trademark were figures, a cluster of leaves, a spill of hair, the swell of breast, are seen aglow on canvas. Among others, his major works include the following, Maiden in a Stream, 1921, GSIS Collection, El Ciego, 1928, Central Bank of the Philippines Collection, Dalagang Bukid, 1936, Club Filipino Collection, Planting Rice, 1946, UCPB Collection. The Dalagang Bukid, or the Maiden in the Rice Field, shows a medium brown-skinned woman portraying the Maria Clara image. Guided by the use of texture and impressionism characterized by relatively thin and small brush strokes, the vibrant tropical sunlight emphasized the appearance of the woman in terms of her outfit and skin color. This portrait created a narrative that life in the province is merely agricultural, that life was good, and that the ideal Filipino women must be conservative, beautiful, and happily serving her family and doing reproductive jobs, such as taking care of the house chores and of upbringing the children given her gentle and warm demeanor. Napoleon Abueva, National Artist for Sculpture At 46 then, Napoleon V. Abueva, a native of Bohol, was the youngest national artist awardee. Considered as the father of modern Philippine sculpture, Abueva helped shape the local sculpture scene to what it is now. Being adept in either academic representational style or modern abstract, he has utilized almost all kinds of materials from hardwood, Molave, acacia, langkawood, ipil, kamagong, palmwood, and bamboo. To adobe, metal, stainless steel, cement, marble, bronze, iron, alabaster, coral, and brass. Among the major works of Abueva are as follows. Kaganapan, 1953. Keys of Judas, 1955. The Transfiguration at the Eternal Garden Memorial Park, 1979. Nine Muses at the UP Faculty Center, 1994. Nick Joaquin, National Artist for Literature. Nick Joaquin is regarded by many as the most distinguished Filipino writer in English writing, so variedly and so well about so many aspects of the Filipino. Nick Joaquin has also enriched the English language with critics coining Joaquinesque to describe his Baroque Spanish-flavored English or his reinventions of English based on Filipinism. Among his voluminous works are The Woman Who Had Two Navels, A Portrait of the Artist as Filipino, Manila, My Manila, a History for the Young, The Ballad of the Five Bottles, Visal in Saga, Almanac for Manileños, 
Cave and Shadows. Jovita Fuentes, Philippine National Artist for Music, 1976. Long before Lea Salonga's break into Broadway, there was already Jovita Fuentes' portrayal of Shosho San in Puccini's Madame Butterfly at Italy's Teatro Municipale di Piacenza. Her performance was hailed as the most sublime interpretation of the part. This is all the more significant because it happened at a time when the Philippines and its people were scarcely heard of in Europe. Prior to that, she was teaching at the University of the Philippines Conservatory of Music in 1917 before leaving for Milan in 1924 for further voice studies. In recognition of these achievements, she was given the unprecedented award of Embajadora de Filipinas a su madre patria by Spain. Her dream to develop the love for opera among her countrymen led her to found the Artist Guild of the Philippines, which was responsible for the periodic tour of Opera Land Productions. Her life story has been documented in the biography Javita Fuentes, A Lifetime of Music in 1978, written by Lilia H. Chung and later translated into Filipino by Virgilio Almario. Lamberto Avellana, National Artist for Theater and Film Lamberta V. Avellana, director for theater and film, has the distinction of being called the boy wonder of Philippine movies as early as 1939. He was the first to use the motion picture camera to establish a point of view, a move that revolutionized the techniques of film narration. In his first film, Sakai, Avellana demonstrated a kind of visual rhythm that established a new filmic language. Sakai was declared the best picture of 1939 by critics and journalists alike and set the tone for Avellana's career in film that could be capped by such distinctive achievements as the Grand Prix at the Asian Film Festival in Hong Kong for Anak Dalita in 1956. Avellana was also the first filmmaker to have his film Candelerong Pilak shown at the Cannes International Film Festival. Among the films he directed for worldwide release were Sergeant Hassan 1967, Destination Vietnam 1969, and The Evil Within 1970. Victorio Edades, National Artist for Painting Painting distorted human figures in rough, bold impasto strokes and standing tall and singular in his advocacy and practice of what he believes is the creative art. Victoria Edades emerged as the father of modern Philippine painting. Unlike a Marsolus bright, sunny, cheerful hues, Edades' colors were dark and somber with subject matter or themes depicting laborers, factory workers, or the simple folk in their dirt, sweat, and grime. In the 1930s, Edades taught at the University of Santo Tomas and became dean of its Department of Architecture where he stayed for three full decades. It was during this time that he introduced a liberal arts program that offers subjects as art history and foreign languages that will lead to a bachelor's degree in fine arts. This development brought about a first in Philippine education since art schools then were vocational schools. Finally, retiring from teaching at age 70, the university conferred on Edades the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts for being an outstanding visionary teacher and artist. Victoria Edades' notable work, The Sketch, 1928, Oil on Canvas, Pablo S. Antonio, Philippine National Artist for Architecture. National Artist for Architecture, Pablo Severo Antonio, pioneered modern Philippine architecture. His basic design is grounded on simplicity, no clutter. The lines are clean and smooth, and where there are curves, these are made integral to the structure. Pablo Jr. points out 
For our Father, every line must have a meaning, a purpose. For Him, functions come first before elegance or form. The other thing that characterizes an Antonio structure is the maximum use of natural light and cross ventilation. Antonio's major works include the following Far Eastern University, Administration and Science Buildings, Manila Polo Club, Ideal Theater, Lyric Theater, Galaxy Theater, Capitan Luis Gonzaga Building, Boulevard Alhambra, now Bel Air Apartments, Ramon Roses Publications Building, now Guzman Institute of Electronics. Leonor Orosa Goquinco, National Artist for Dance. Mother of Philippine Theater Dance and Dean of Filipino Performing Arts Critics, Leonor Orosa Goquinco, pioneer Filipino choreographer in balletic, folkloric, and Asian styles, produced for over 50 years highly original, first-of-a-kind choreographies, mostly to her own storylines. With it, Orosa brought native folk dance mirroring Philippine culture from pagan to modern times to its highest stage of development. She was the honorary chair of the Association of Ballet Academies of the Philippines and was a founding member of the Philippine Ballet Theater. These include Trend, Return to Native, In a Javanese Garden, Sports, Vinta, In a Concentration Camp, The Magic Garden, The Clowns, Firebird, Nolly Dance Suit, The Flagellant, The Creation. Philippine National Artists for Music 2014 Ramon Pagayon Santos, composer, conductor, and musicologist, is currently the country's foremost exponent of contemporary Filipino music, a prime figure in the second generation of Filipino composers in the modern idiom, Santos has contributed greatly to the quest for new directions in music, taking as basis non-Western traditions in the Philippines and Southeast Asia. He graduated in 1965 from the UP College of Music with a teacher's diploma and a Bachelor of Music degree in both composition and conducting. Higher studies in the United States under a Fulbright Scholarship at the Indiana University for a Master's degree in 1968 and at the State University of New York at Buffalo for a doctorate in 1972 exposed him to the world of contemporary and avant-garde musical idioms, the rigorous processes of serialism, electronic and contemporary music, and new vocal and improvisational techniques. He received further training in new music in Germany and Netherlands. Simultaneous with this was the reverting back to more orthodox performance modes, chamber works and multimedia works for dance and theater. Panaghoy, 1984, for reader, voices, gongs, and bass drum on the poetry of Benigno Aquino Jr. was a powerful musical discourse on the fallen leader's assassination in 1983 which subsequently brought on the victorious People Power Uprising in 1986. An intense and avid pedagogue, Santos, as former chair of the Department of Composition and Theory and formerly as dean of the College of Music, UP has remained instrumental in exposing modern Philippine music rooted in old Asian practices and life concepts.